It is necessary to take this into account. You should know your biorhythm like a Christian knows the Our Father and never disrupt it. Do whatever you want, but do not disrupt your biorhythm. If a night old woman would wake up earlier than she should, and in general, if a night old person wakes up earlier than needed, this would disrupt their entire physiology. First of all, leading to simply overeating, because they would be lacking carbohydrates and energy. Too much energy would be lost and to compensate they will start eating like crazy, because the organism starts to panic, the organism gets stressed out. Try to get enough sleep for a week or so, disregarding everything around you, and you will see that the diet will change on itself, and as well as your well-being, everything will change enormously. Earth element must be taken into account. We observe such an effect, and this is why. Various effects, you see. We will now continue our discussion with everyone else, but I want to address this issue. Fact is that our Earth is three-layered, and each layer carries its own effects. So you notice that we immerse ourselves in a certain depth, and during the meditation I also always say, each one to his own depth. Why? Because each person reaches its own layer. And the layer that your consciousness reaches is chosen as appropriate by the consciousness itself, meaning that the layer absolutely matches the frequencies of the consciousness, or to be more precise, the frequencies of the physical body, the vibration of the Muladhara Chakra. It is specific, as specific as the body. Three layers, one of them, the closest to us, is the fertile layer. And what will Earth influence in this case? The physiology in general, that is, the biological rhythms. What to eat, when to sleep, and so on. Some have felt this, some have not. As if nothing changed. This most probably means that the person's consciousness reached as far as the second layer, the second layer where the memory is stored, including the bloodline memory. You've noticed some effects, some effects started happening. The deepest layer, one that is reached only by a few, is the layer of primordial constructs, the layer where all inceptions take place. A place where total, global changes in the consciousness happen, including changes on the I am level. So whatever the level the person reaches, that is the level they function on. And this in its turn determines all future life. Because certain vibrations, the deeper we go into Earth, the greater the depth of the immersion, show a dominant position of the Earth vibrations in the entire structure of consciousness. And it is a direct relation. The deeper we immerse ourselves, the greater the dominance of the earth element. The closer we are to the surface, to the fertile layer, the lower the dominance. Our leading element will be different. Whereas if we reach a great depth, then the dependency on earth element will unequivocally be more profound, and this must be taken into account necessarily. When we will get through the rest of the elements, we will see which of our elemental forces is the leading one and which one is submissive. It is our nature. We were born this way. And nothing can be done about it. One's own specific peculiarities must simply be taken into account. The fact that we all find ourselves in physical bodies and that we can qualify them as human still doesn't mean anything. Is it clear? Folks, get ready for changes. Don't take this all as if it were the end of the world for you personally. This is simply my kind advice to you. This way you will get through all of the transformation that are currently happening to you easier. What is going to happen now is necessary, as terrible as it may seem. It is necessary. A cleanse is a must. The effects that are taking place now are necessary to go through. Keep away from external events. Keep doing your thing and everything will be well for you personally. And don't let your consciousness get attached to the events of other people.
Uh, what should I do when other people are complaining to me, trying to dump their problems on me? Is this something I should be avoiding right now? Listen carefully, pay attention, but never let the information get further than the mental body. So you can leave it on the level of the mental body, don't react emotionally, don't let it touch the astral body. What if they want to hear my advice after they dump it all on me? Have a dozen of wise parables in your reserve, a couple of thousand jokes, and give them the first that comes to mind. The first one out of your mental body, it will always be on point. You've noticed the effects. In reality, the cognition depth of the earth element, the depth of the cognition of the elements, it of course demands energy and attention as well as the ability to listen to yourself, but our course is a long one. We will be exploring this whole thing and you will also have many field tests. Because we are obviously not used to looking at ourselves and reality this way, and are incapable of tracking such effects within us yet, simply incapable. Is it, for example, possible to make a side-by-side -side comparison between the presence of the earth element vibrations and the enhancement of the immune system? It is, but only if you know what to look for. How could it possibly be put into an algorithm in the common everyday life? How could you enhance your immunity through the force of the elements if you don't even know that such a connection exists, if you're not familiar with this instrument? Furthermore, considering that such a connection, earth and immunity, functions very individually, that is not in everyone, it enhances it in some while lowering it in others, you need to know your individual peculiarities. The reason is the following. As we are working with the first chakra, Muladhara, meaning that we are talking about the physical body, about the fact of birth, about the physical plane, I didn't tell you in vain about the three levels. Three earth levels, they imply the depth of your immersion into the earth element and the degree of your rights for this energy. The lowest degree of rights, the fewest rights in this world, belong to those who are in contact only with the nearest layer, the surface layer. This means that this mind, this soul, is not born of this world and therefore, by agreement, it only has the right to the fruits of this world. Namely, what the earth would bear and give. Here you go, whatever she gives you, what she has born, that you may eat. What she has given birth to, that you may use. Whereas those who say were born on the vibrations of this earth and have an established, verified and fully natural contact with the second deeper layer, not with the core layer, but the middle one, respectively, the vibrations that the physical body functions on, and as a consequence the mind as well, would be slightly different. I am reminding you that the earth element, the vibrations of earth, the frequencies of earth, represent themselves within consciousness at least twice, on the first chakra and the fifth chakra, at the level of the buddhic body. It assumes and manifests itself in the monolithic structures that we call values and beliefs. Someone who nourishes themselves of the fruits of earth would have completely different values and beliefs compared to someone who is nourished by the second layer. This person feeds directly on the flesh of earth. Not what she has born, but what she actually is. And a person of the primary, core layer, feeds on Earth's essence. Thus, their buddhic body would be differently structured respectively. Once we start working with the proto-foundations on the next course, that is precisely when the Earth element will manifest itself, the vibrations of the Earth in particular. We will gradually get to that, but it would help if you have a clear recollection of your first contact with the earth element, because it will in many ways predetermine everything for your going forward, your rights to the resources, specifically of this earth, as well as your abilities. As an example, someone who only feeds on the surface layer of earth will never have a right, say, for oil as for earth's blood. And if they try to get some, 
they will get punished for it ruthlessly. And on the flip side, in order to have the right for this resource, one must necessarily match the frequencies of this layer precisely. And then concerning the core earth level, well, this is completely inhuman. The very first level, the deepest one, does not belong to the human reason at all. We will talk about it in due time. What is the cost? If you have access to this level by right, then none. But in case of other elements, then yes, if you have no rights in terms of the air element, but you're using it, you will be paying for that. Each person has its own elements. The triple layered earth is identified in Greek mythology by the presence of three goddesses. We know this already, Gaia, Rhea and Demeter. Demeter represents fertility, Rhea is the transformational level, and Gaia is the prime cause. The prime cause for the appearance of a certain civilization in this earth, meaning that it is the deepest layer that safeguards the memory of the firstborn conceived by the sky and the earth. Each year, on the Walpurgis night, we always go somewhere for a coven. Last year we traveled to Cappadocia. This year we are going somewhere as well. Working with the earth element is in our plan, working with all its three levels. We will be traveling to Abkhazia. The work we'll be doing has precisely to do with the earth element, because the Valpurgis night, the 1st of May, is the day when the earth element awakens after a long break. Respectively, a lot can be done on this wave, in this moment of revelation.